beginning October 1st, OnlyFans is banning sexually explicit content from its site. Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Thanks for joining your guy, SD Booker, with a toast to the men. Now, OnlyFans is a website that markets itself for being a site where creators, artists, musicians can express themselves, connect with the public to their fans. And it's another way for them to earn part-time or full-time money on the side. Now, that sounds good. That's a good, clean way to market yourself. But we all know the bread and butter for OnlyFans is the sexually explicit content, the sex workers, the strippers, uh, whatever you want to call them. That's the bread and butter. Now, as I stated, October 1st, they're going to ban any sexually explicit content. Why? Reports state from pressure uh, from their... Uh, banking, the banking partners, from their payout partners. They're getting a lot of heat. It's a bad look for banks. It's a, it's a bad look for these third party partners who are paying out these dividends. And so they're putting pressure on OnlyFans. OnlyFans uh, has come to the uh, agreement that they're gonna ban any sexually explicit content starting October 1st. Now, why do I bring this up? Well, as you know, I like to think uh, from a 360 view objectively. So this video isn't about bashing the so-called sex, sex workers or the strippers making their money. Hey, make your money however you fit to make your money. I'm not here to judge. Uh, I'm not here to judge the guys or the women who subscribe and pay to see the content. You know, I don't understand it, but to each his own, right? My thing is, and why this is coming up, for two reasons. You know, I know the name Kevin Samuels is mentioned a lot on the social media, uh, this social media platform and that environment. And uh, I've probably mentioned them maybe three times on my platform. But three months ago, he was on a podcast with three young ladies who are, I would say, creators <laughs> on OnlyFans. And they were the creators who are using sexually explicit content to make money on OnlyFans. These were not musicians or actors. And they had a big following. And according to them, they made a lot of money. Now, in this conversation, Kevin Samuels was questioning them on a couple of things. He was asking, how were they investing their money? And what were they gonna do when there was no, no, there were no more OnlyFans, and they could not make their money through their bodies. And uh, they got irritated; they felt, you know, uh, disrespected. But they really could not answer his question. They became combative. Uh, they became outright disrespectful, and uh, actually, they left the interview, the podcast. Fast forward, we come to today, I read that OnlyFans is going to ban any sexually explicit content coming October 1st. Wow. Man, you know, you can't use your body to profit. And you can't use your body, your body to profit at a high level forever. As a woman, and that's who's making most of the money through sexually explicit content, is women. I'm sure there are some men making money, but I think most of the men who are making money on there are actors or models. You know, women get off on that. Her favorite actor, her favorite model, they get off on that. Her favorite musician. 
I don't see most men paying for that kind of content, straight lace content. We want to see skin. We want to see some sexual acts. That's where the big money is. Now, as a woman gets older, physically, from a, from a, a, a cosmetic standpoint, she's going to lose something, right? She's going to lose something. Um, she's not going to have the same body as when she was 20 years old. Now, she can get some work done, get some enhancements done, but it's just not going to be the same. It's not going to have the same appeal. So we can say on that level, her stock drops. Now, if she plays her cards right, her stock will rise if her spirit becomes richer and pure, right, and more pleasant. She's more pleasant to be around, right? And that glory will come through her skin, come through her smile, right? So where she loses something, uh, she can gain something and still be appealing. Now, that can't sell. <laughs> that can't sell in a sexually motivated industry. But she can form some good relationships. She can be honored. She can wear a crown proudly. A man uh, typically can start looking better as he gets older. Ladies listening, you know some guys who didn't look so well, didn't look so good, were not so attractive when they were young, teenagers, even in their early 20s. And the older they got, the more money they got, the more successful they got, they took better care of themselves, maybe grew a beard, kept a fresh haircut, maybe worked out a little bit, clothes changed, they became more handsome. Hey, that's just the way it goes. Women hold more, more value when they're young, right? They hold more value when they're young. Women are getting chased crazy when they're young. Older men hold more value. Okay, men hold more more value as they get older. They don't do so much chasing where they don't have to, because the younger women will come after the older men, right? Why? Money is always going to be attractive, <laughs> always. Now, do you do have those that small pool of older women that will pay, right? But that that's uh, that's a small pool. That's not the norm, right? But it is the norm for older men to take a woman out. It is the norm for older men to pay a bill. That's the norm. That's, that's not anything abnormal, right? So our stock rises as we get older. Now, I say all that to say we're in a time we're in a special time in history. And I don't believe there has ever been any time, like this time, where you can monetize and actually become a millionaire off of your intellectual property. And when I say intellectual property, I'm talking about your gifts, your talents, your wisdom, your mindset. You can actually become a millionaire off of that intellectual property, and you don't even have to be a celebrity. It's people who have become millionaires that you don't even know that if you Google their names, they probably wouldn't come up. And they're millionaires off of intellectual property, off of ebooks, off of writings, off of art, off of speaking on something they're not even an expert on. They're on TikTok, they're on YouTube, speaking on a topic they're not even an expert on. But people are engaged, people are drawn to them for whatever reason, and they're monetizing off of it. And uh, if they set up their, you know, the cars right, their children's children can eat off of that. So that's the only thing that's going to last, what comes out of your mind what you establish out of your mindset. 
the physical, that's going to fade. And this is to brothers too uh, that make a living throwing D, you know, uh, and thinking that's going to last, man. That that gets old too. That's not going to stay strong either the older you get. So you always want to use your mind. And we all have something, something intellectual that we can bring to the table and that we can support ourselves with. But it's going to take discipline. It's going to take confidence in yourself. It's going to take work. Last week, I would say last month, I think. I got I got three deposits. One for, was for the ebook. One was for the paperback book. Uh, and this was a, a monthly payout from Amazon for the ebook, the paperback. And then I got con contacted by a podcast that wanted me to do an ad, and I got paid for that. Uh, and then recently, a huge uh, YouTuber, I won't mention his name just yet, but you'll see some things from us. A huge YouTuber reached out to me and uh, wants me to be the ambassador of a platform he's created. And we're going to do some great things together. Huge, huge, uh, huge YouTuber uh, personality, YouTube personality. So I say that to say, when you plant those seeds and you fertilize them, and you water them, and you pay attention, and you give them sun, and you give them love, those intellectual seeds, that talent, those gifts, and you stay constant, and you work at it, you'll start seeing the maturation of it, the growth, and the birthing of, eventually of that seed you planted. And if I die today, I will be remembered. My name is in the books. My name is out there digitally. It's out there. It's in your mind. Uh, the book is written. It's out there. The content is out there. And that's the only thing that's, that's going to last. Think about this. There was a time uh, in history in several countries, but we want to focus on Germany, where Germany was burning books was burning books. They were under dictatorship, communism, I guess, and uh, they were burning books, trying to control the minds of the people. But what they couldn't take away, even with burning other books, were the stories in the minds of the people. And those stories being relayed to offspring and to friends and family, and then eventually those stories, as technology moves forward, those stories being told on the internet or being rewritten. That's energy. You can't kill energy. You can't. Think about the slave passage. Uh, now, not all of us come from slaves, but we'll just say, for the sake of uh, this discussion, think about the slaves that came over from Africa or the Africans that came over and who were enslaved in America. Just think about that. And then think about how reading and writing was outlawed for slaves, how they lost their language, how they lost a connection to the history. So we thought, and then you fast forward and we start hearing all these stories about the great rulers in Africa, about Africa's rich history. We start hearing these, these stories about what really happened in that slave trade. We start hearing all these different things about the history. Now, how did that, how did that information not die when people were outlawed from reading and writing, and basically learning, uh, people were disconnected from their homeland. How did those stories not die? Energy. Energy. You can't not kill energy. You can, listen, you can destroy every book of a toast to the men. 
every book. You can take it off of Amazon, uh, Barnes and Nobles, Goodreads. You can destroy it, right, physically. You can't destroy the energy. Why? Because people have read it. It's resonated in people's spirit, their minds, and their hearts. They've told someone else about it. I've sold books off of word of mouth also. That's energy. Traveling. And so that's what we got to get to. Whether they shut down OnlyFans, the, the, the sexually explicit content portion of it, or they create another one. Uh, so, something, another website that promotes that. What you have physically, what you provide physically, is going to get old, it's going to wear down, and it's not transferable. You can't give it to anyone. And uh, it's limited. It's limited. Each one of us has a gift and a talent. And the only thing that's holding you back is you. Self-doubt, a lack of discipline, a lack of confidence, uh, laziness. That's what's holding you back. But I'm telling you, if you plant the seeds some, some pure seeds that's rooted in some pure soil and a sound foundation, you'll live forever. Physically, you'll be removed. You'll die. And uh, point in case, we're still talking about people who have been long gone. I got into a conversation uh, with someone on TikTok. Uh, there was a video out there on Barry White, and Barry was saying that He's a God, and we're all gods, and we come from the God. His DNA, the God's DNA is, and fingerprints are all over us. And someone in the comments, because I like reading comments, said, if he's such a God, why did he die? I said, well, Barry, the physical body, died, but Barry, the spirit, died. The energy is still alive, and that's why we're still talking about him. That's why we're watching this video of him, and that's why we're having this conversation. That's why his music, his God-given gift, through music, words, people still play it. That's energy. That'll never die. That'll never die. Even if you take all his music off of any platform, somebody's still going to sing that song. Some child is going to remember their mom singing that song, some song of Barry White to them when they were young. They're going to tell their child that's energy traveling. You'll never kill it. Focus on that, man. Focus on your God given gifts and talents, and you can't lose. Whether there's an OnlyFans or not, whether there's a YouTube or not, an Amazon or not, you can't lose. Because energy doesn't die. As always, from me to you, peace, love.